Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about number two from the 2025 AP Pre-Calculus exam. Uh, it's just like an absolute wall of text. Uh, so this is it. Basically, you have D of T, which is A times T squared plus B times T plus C. And you're given this table of values. It's months after they began using an app and the total number of plays for the song since its release. Um, that's gonna come into play. So you do have to totally understand the problem, but most of that paragraph above is kind of trying to help you to understand it. So let's see if we can do the problem. So first question is basically always gonna be the same. You're gonna write a system of equations, then you're gonna solve the system of equations. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, we know that uh, if we do D of zero, we should get 25, D of two, we should get 30, and D of four, we should get 34. But I kind of think they want you to like write them out. So I'm gonna do that. Like I'm gonna show plugging in zero to get this equation. Now this equation just straight up tells you that C is equal to 25. Um, but I'm gonna write this equation where I'm plugging in two. And then I'm gonna write this equation where I'm plugging in four. I think they wanna see this. I honestly think that it would, like if I were scoring it, it would be enough to just write D of zero equals 25, D of two equals 30, D of four equals 34. But as far as I know, they don't allow that. So make sure you write it out. Then we gotta solve this. So uh, my first thought is I just use my calculator to solve it. I got A is negative 0.125, B is 2.75, and C is 25. Um, I also used Desmos, so I, I created a table of values, and then I used quadratic regression, and I got the same exact values. Reassuring, you don't have to do both, you do have to do one of them. Uh, and so we can just write down our values of A, B, and C. All right, the next part is also basically always gonna be the same, like year over year. We wanna use the data to find the average rate of change on the interval from zero to four months. So average rate of change is just algebra one slope. So we're gonna to have to go from zero to four. So we have the ordered pair four comma 34, the ordered pair is zero comma 25. Uh, we're just finding slope. So uh, 34 minus 25 over four minus zero. This is calculator, so you can use a calculator on it. Uh, 2.25, so that's the average rate of change. Now the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna use the average rate of change found in part B, one, to estimate the total number of plays for the song in thousands for T equals 1.5 months. Show the work. So this basically comes down to writing the equation of a line and plugging 1.5 into it. Um, so I'm gonna call it, uh, the equation of the line, it's a secant line because it goes through two things. It's gonna be in thousands per month. Um, I'm sorry, the average rate of change is in thousands per month. I meant to mention that. I don't think, we don't need to show units because they tell you the units, but like those would be the units. Um, so here we go. Uh, we're finding a secant line. I'm just going to use point slope. I'm going to use the slope 2.25 and the point 0 comma 25. Uh, so I get y minus 25 is our average rate of change. So 2.25 and then the quantity uh, t minus 0. Okay, so I wasn't really sure what variable to use there. I used y. Uh, I think you could probably use d. Uh, I don't really know. So I, I was a little nervous about that. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to plug 1.5 into this for t and solve and see what y value I get. So I'm gonna say y of 1.5 is gonna be approximately um, 25. So I probably should have said that d of 1.5 because we're approximating the value of d at that point. Um, it's 25 plus 2.25 times 1.5. I use a calculator on this, so 28.375. Now, because I got a little anxious about all the variables going on here, I just wrote a sentence at the end. Uh, the total number of plays at t equals 1.5 months is approximately 28.375 thousand so that nobody needs to look at my variables and be like, but what is this? What is this? I wrote a sentence at the end, just clarify everything. Uh, the next part is um, A of t represents the estimate of the total number of plays for the song in thousands. Uh, basically, they're just saying, look at your estimate that you got in the previous part. Uh, and we know that it's less than D of 1.5, and we want to explain why. Uh, actually, we want to explain why in general A of T is less than D of T for all T between 0 and 4. And it says our explanation should include a reference to the graph of D and its relationship to A sub T. All right, so if you remember, we found that A was negative 1.25. That's actually all that matters, but we also found B and C. So since A is negative 1.25, this is a quadratic that opens down. The most important part about that is that it is a concave down graph. So I'm going to say the graph of D of T is concave down. So I've made a reference to the graph of D of T. Now, when a graph is concave down, you can just draw it, draw like negative X squared. 
and draw a secant line, you can see the secant line, no matter where you drew it, is going to be below the curve. So I'm going to say, therefore, the secant line on the interval from 0 to 4 is below the graph of d of t, which is true. Uh, since we're below that, that means that for any t in between 0 and 4, a sub t is going to be less than d of t. I think that answers the question. I think that'll get all the points. Let's take a look at the next part. So the quadratic function uh, model d, the quadratic function model d has exactly one absolute min or one absolute max. We know it has an absolute max because it's a quadratic that opens down. Uh, the min or max can be used to determine a domain restriction for d. Based on the context of the problem, explain how that minimum or maximum can be used to determine a boundary for the domain of d. All right, so uh, first thing I did was I just graphed this. Uh, you could graph it on either Desmos or on your calculator. It doesn't make a difference. Now, if you remember, the table of values was for the total number of plays since, I don't know, launch or something like that. If you think about it, total number of plays cannot decrease, right? No matter what happens, it's going to go up. Like, it might go up less, but it's just going to keep going up. So we just kind of need to capture that idea. So since d of t represents the total number of plays, d of t can only increase. Now let's bring this, like, absolute max min idea into this. Um, since d of t has its absolute maximum at t equals 11, we know that d of t will begin decreasing when t is greater than 11, and we just said that it can only increase, the number of total plays can only increase, which means we just have to stop at 11. Uh, the domain of d of t that could only be valid uh, would be from 0 to 11, which I think answers the question. That's the entire thing. I hope this was helpful, and good luck.